Hey, what's up? Tuesday morning, uh, sitting here in the office, getting ready to get started. Uh, it's been, a, been an interesting morning. Got my egg white shake here. Uh, two cups of egg whites this morning, so I want a little extra protein. Two packets of instant oatmeal because I'm out of uh, thing to make this stuff taste good. <laughs> and then some ice. Again, if you're doing Genesis and uh, not trying to bulk up and do Unleashed with me, then you're going to want like egg whites and uh, peanut butter, PB2, almond butter, ice. So you want to get your fat source in the shake. Spinach will make it taste a lot better too, and that way you get some of your greens in there. Quick and easy way to do it. Uh, but this morning, man, it was really weird. I woke up and uh, we had this, you know, been having some very steady sales, which is great because, you know, sales bring revenue. Revenue helps us develop new apparel. Revenue helps us develop new programs. It allows me to uh, pay the guys that work for me, pay for my programmers, pay for my marketing, my advertising, pay my brand ambassadors so they keep doing what they're doing. Um, and it all trickles down. It's great. But we had this crazy drop off in sales. We went from doing, uh, you know, very steady flow like we have been doing to just pretty much nothing overnight. And I noticed it at like 10 o'clock last night and it kind of didn't alarm me, but usually when something like that happens, it means something's wrong with the site. Something happened, there's a bug, uh, you know, payments aren't going through for whatever reason. So I just sat on it and I'm like, okay, well, Sean's doing customer service. He'll, he'll let me know. Slept all night, woke up in the morning and usually we do quite a few sales in the middle of the night and there was virtually nothing. So it just really shocked me. So I spent most of the morning trying to figure out what's going on. Um, and interesting enough, I went into my Facebook ads demographic and my audience, and what I found were there were some very strange terms in there that I had not uh, put in. Uh, there were some German words that I didn't know. Uh, there was the word Gesundheit in my uh, targeted interests. So I'm not sure where that came from or if I had been hacked or whatnot, but uh, I was chatting with the Facebook guys and they said that nobody's accessed the stuff in like three months. So. Not really sure what's going on. Uh, things have kind of resumed starting about 10 a.m. And you know, here's something really interesting, guys. I posted the the last episode of BTS 84 with the heart problem, uh, with my my incident from the pre-workout, taking too much pre-workout over too long of a time. I posted that on the site the night before. And here's my theory, and this is really interesting how things work. And just for those of you that are in this for more than just fitness and bodybuilding, looking for life advice, uh, just yeah, I'm, I'm trying here to not be a coach, but just show you guys what we go through as business owners. And as we're trying to level up in life, be more successful, little tips that, you know, if you're starting your own business or you're looking to go do your own thing, you, just for you to be aware, uh, I posted that and the title of the episode was, uh, you know, days, I think it was 44 to 46, it said heart problems. And there was a picture of me with my eyes closed, and uh, you know the response was overwhelming. The fans out there, you guys, you're you're phenomenal, man. I got a ton of like, hey man, I just want to make sure you're okay. I'm really sorry to hear this. We need you. you know, just a bunch of really encouraging stuff, and I didn't expect that. It was just more of a, I'm gonna put this out there because this is life. This the series that we're doing is real life. I mean, this is what's happening in my life every day. And if I'm not putting out videos for a reason, I'm not in the gym. I need you guys to know why. But when I took a look at everything, uh, aside from the weird stuff in the Facebook ads, uh, in, in the targeted audience, the only thing I could think of was I posted that last night. And so I hid it from the timeline this morning. That way no new people would see it when they came to the site. And interestingly enough, within about an hour and a half, two hours after that, things got back to normal. So my, my theory is that posting something that has a possible negative connotation that puts fear into people will directly correlate to their how they feel and in turn they won't be um, as prepared to start the program so they won't want to buy a program because they're feeling fearful they won't want to take any steps and i apologize to everybody for putting that out there my intent was not to make anyone fearful it was more of an awareness thing and so uh, if I made anybody feel fearful about it, that's not my intent. I want everybody to be positive about their fitness journey, but I do want them to be aware. So just a very interesting thing, you know, we're talking about the law of vibration. Uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before about how everything vibrates and the energy that you put out there is felt by other people. And the energy that I put out with that post, I think was a little negative and a little fearful. And so it affected everything. So unless I find something weird, uh, you know, some more gazoon-type terms in my targeted audience in Facebook, I'm going to chalk it up to let's stay away from negative things when, when we're posting. It's, it's very out of character for me. I didn't think about it that way when I posted it, but looking at it, I think that's really what it was. Uh, other than that, 
been kind of tackling things all morning with that, doing some emails, and we're going to start doing the rest of the BTS series for uh, the next video that comes out, which will be the one before this one. I'm going to crack that today. Today is shoulder day, guys, and I'm going to get the full workout in. I'm going to try to do some cardio afterwards. Hang on, I'm hungry. Little tidbit on this, uh, this cup here. At the hospital, they gave us to Priscilla to drink water when she was um, in labor. And we've had this since the day Mia was born, and this is like my giant cup now. I commandeered it. Anyway, today's going to be arms, and we're going to, I'm not arms, sorry, shoulders. Going to, I'm debating on going in later, like we talked about, to get the glycogen stores replenished uh, for the full amount of time to see how we do. That way I've got uh, 26 hours in between uh, glycogen refueling, and so there, it's a little season. It's not fresh glycogen. So I'm debating on when to do that, but we're definitely going to do some high volume. It's going to be six sets. We're going to do, uh, you know, in the rep range of 25 down to 12 for most of the stuff. Uh, I'm probably going to do two exercises for each part of the delt for uh, anterior medial and for the uh, the rear delt. So front, side, and rear delt. We'll probably do two exercises for each back to back. That would be target each um, each position back to back. I also uh, I want to do a little bit of this Smith Machine um, anterior press. Instead of a regular shoulder press, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our arms in tight with a closer grip, and we're going to sit a little bit farther back so that we have more of... Oh, don't want to spill my egg white shake. <laughs> so that we have more of this motion out here rather than in tight with your arms flared for a regular shoulder press. We're going to bring it in and push this way, uh, and it's going to put a lot of pressure right here on the front. And to your delt, this should be really interesting. I've done it a couple times and it burns. So um, probably gonna do that. Haven't done any front barbell raises in a while. I think I'm gonna do those. I've done the cable underhand rows, done cable overhand, but I haven't done any like legit barbell rows. So I'm probably gonna do some free weights today. Uh, as much as I like the Smith machine, I think I'm gonna tackle uh, hitting the barbells because it tends to just give me a better pump. And I, it's gonna depend too on my back and how it feels because my back's been acting up a little bit since I had to sleep on that pull-up bed at Mendocino. So that's going to be uh, the goal. And then we're going to try to get 10 to 15 minutes of cardio today so I can get ramped back up. I still need to do body fat. One of these days, we'll get around to that. Um, it's important. I should take the time to do it. If you're doing it, there's no excuses. Me, um, resting and recovering. <laughs> uh, let's see. So that's so basically I'm going to leave you guys with, from this segment right here. I'm going to leave you guys with, remember, whatever you put out there, as far as energy is concerned, you will attract. Like attracts like. So if you uh, put fear out there, you're going to attract fearful people. If you attract, I'm sorry, if you put negative emotions out there, you're going to attract negative people. If you put blame out there, if you're blaming people for the things that are happening in your life, you're going to attract people that blame other people. Remember, you are in control. You are in control of your destiny. You're in control of everything that happens to you. And when you stop blaming everybody else and you start taking full responsibility and going, what could I have done differently today? to make things different in this situation or that situation. What could I have done differently? That's when you start leveling up. And that's when good things start happening. And that's when you start being successful. So kick that negative shit out of your life, guys. Bring only the positive. Change the way you think. Think positive about everything. Look for the best. And if something is negative in your life, kick it to the curb. Get rid of it. You don't need it. You only need positive stuff in your life. Think positive, go crush today. All right, so we're here at uh, 24 Santa Rosa, waiting on Ryan Flakes to show up. He's running a little late. Got to get a babysitter for his little boy. And we're going to do back today. Seems like every time we're here, we're doing back, but that's just the way it falls. So, his shoulders last night. We got P here today with us. Say what up. And that what up? brand new bitchin' purple hoodie with the pink logo. Yep, the new dibs. So, um, yeah. No, it's not the one I was wearing yesterday. That was the one with the white logo. I have the white on it. <laughs> the one hit wonders when I work out these things. So Brian's uh, Brian's partner in the mobile app that we're going to be building. And Brian's buddy from high school. Talked about him a little bit. Guy works hard as shit. Um, he's here for his health. And uh, he's making a transformation. He's down like, I think, almost 30 pounds since we started. So the guy's, uh, he's killing, man. You guys are going to love him. So, yeah, this is John, the one, the only, the awesome. The one, the only, the awesome. <laughs> I like that. I like that. You got a good ring right? Absolutely. <laughs> Go I ahead and point I hope the girlfriend agree, but hey, you know, we'll see. I like that. <laughs> as long as you believe it, right? If you're watching this, I'll love you. <laughs> you're probably not, though. <laughs> All 
Alright, let's throw some uh, some Rob Bailey in the Hustle Standard on Pandora. Because I gotta be fired up since there's no stems in my system. Something like that. Right? He's chest, he's number one, he's traps, he's number one, he's shoulders, he's number one, he's face, he's number one. <laughs> Ruining my stuff. <laughs> he's dead. He's number one. Captain Cool Kid, and I got sick of doing rows all the time. I was getting ready for a fitness competition, and I'm like, okay, I just want to work my muscles in a little bit different way. So I went over to some sort of like crazy chest press machine, and I took this bar and I attached it to the chest press machine, so it was like just barely hanging on there, you know? Kind of, I was like, it'll stay, it'll stay. So I'm standing up, I've got it, and I'm going, I, I do almost a full set, when all of a sudden it comes flying off and I go flying with it right smack into some bodybuilder guy. So every time I do the bar, I kind of like have flashbacks. <laughs> it's really bad. What up, buddy? How you doing? So this is what the magic looks like. This is it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is when it happens. <laughs> Hi. Ryan, Sean, Sean, Ryan. Ryan. Hey, you yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, there's 10 there if you want to warm up. We're doing back. We're going to start with uh, seated rows. I'm going to throw my belt on. Yeah. Have you ever tried the liquid aminos? Uh, Get a little caffeine in This one's really good. You want to try it? It's got some green tea. It's got green coffee. All sorts of other crazy amino blends. <clears throat> I love using this stuff when um, I'm on a low calorie diet or if I'm doing fasted training of any kind because the aminos will um, keep from breaking down too much muscle, or any at all, in that, for that matter, because it'll fuel the muscle, even if you're not full of glycogen stores. Kind of awesome, but none for Gabe. I don't want to give him a heart attack. We've been through enough. 25, set one. Oh, shit. Got to go on this side. 
Oh. Uh, policy, no filming, no photography. As of when? You uh, right you guys up wall. for... Who asked you to say that? Uh, it was just pointed out, so I came. By who? By a member or? No, another employee. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. We've been doing this forever. Nobody's had a problem. Yeah, it, it is a problem. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Thanks. We're busted. So you guys saw what happened in there. That was the first time at this 24 we've ever been asked not to film. And yeah, there are signs plastered all over the walls, but we just kind of disregard them. People are usually pretty cool. They don't say anything. And I think that was a, a new manager. So uh, she obviously didn't like telling us, but she kind of had to. So whatever, man. Um, so the workout was uh, wide grip. Low rows, we did 25, 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, and then we went over and we did uh, wide grip lat pull downs, 20, pyramiding down to 10, six sets. Then we did uh, straight arm pulls, we did four sets of 20 there, and then we went over and we did uh, hammer strength rows, and that was four sets of 20 again. So that was kind of a middle of the road workout. It wasn't one of our toughest ones by any means. Uh, we ended up having a four person rotation because Sean here <laughs> couldn't shoot, so we might as well uh, put him through the workout too. And you know, the more people you get, obviously the more um, time in between sets you're gonna get. So we ended up kind of losing our pump towards the end, which is not a big deal. My headphones died. It's not really an excuse, but I just, I can't do stairs and not have music. I hate staring at a wall with like no sound. So I'm gonna go charge the headphones. We'll come back later tonight and do cardio. And uh, for the rest of the day, I think we're just gonna call it a day, man. Uh, probably do some video stuff. I think that's it. We're gonna cook some crab tonight. Uh, I got the folks coming over and we're gonna just chill and relax. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it, man. All right, guys, we're out. Hey, good morning. Today's Thursday. Actually, it's afternoon now. I had taken a video earlier and I forgot to turn the microphone on, so that video is out the door. Basically, I was just kind of saying um, <clears throat> last night we had a great time with the folks. We ended up doing crab, lobster, and tri tip steak. It was pretty cool. I got to cook for everybody. It's uh, kind of a rare occasion that I get to do that, but my grandfather was over. He's uh, 94, man, and he's still. Still driving, still walks, <clears throat> still rides as we're coming, bike in the morning. We'll talk, talk about a true testament of, uh, you know, living life to the fullest. He's one of them. So uh, I just want to do something special with them. So we had a good time. Ate outside on the back deck. It was really cool. Um, and I even got seven meals in. So I ate again after I stuffed myself with crab and steak and lobster. It was amazing. <laughs> so uh, this morning uh, we've been working on, I had plans to work on Unleashed, but uh, customer service kind of took over. I had a lot of questions about the program. I had to answer directly via email. Uh, some stuff had gotten forwarded to me. Now, this is one of the things, guys, I want you to know that if stuff gets forwarded to me, I try to answer it personally. And so if somebody emails me directly, I take the time and I answer it personally because... Again, I care about your guys' success in the program, and I care about your success in life. And so, you know, me spending my day dedicating to helping people, that's what I do. And if Unleash gets pushed back a little bit, <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, that was my kid screaming. <laughs> if Unleash gets pushed back a little bit, well, that's so be it. But I got people to help, and uh, that's my top priority. So that was most of the morning. Uh, crazy thing, again, my debit card got hijacked yesterday. Uh, I went to make a purchase online through Amazon for some supplements. I uh, needed some new BCAAs, and uh, it was declined. So I called my bank, and I was like, hey, what's up, man? And they go, oh, so let's just check on these last purchases. Uh, did you just purchase Kentucky Fried Chicken in San Jose? I'm like, those of you who don't know, Rona Park's about three hours from San Jose. I was like... Nope, I'm sitting at my desk with my debit card in my hand. So <laughs> apparently somebody got my debit card number again and was uh, going on a KFC spree. So uh, enjoy those wings, guys, and the uh, you know the tasty fake chicken that you're eating on my dime. So uh, today I had to go to the bank and get that taken care of. But hey, we had a great phone call too this morning. Uh, Brian Fikes, who you saw in uh, yesterday's video that worked out with us, that was uh, my partner in the mobile app development. So we had a phone call kickoff meeting for the mobile app development with uh, Jeremy Callahan. He's a great guy who's uh, done a bunch of projects for Brian before. We got to sit down and talk about what we want in the app, the basic outline, what we think it should look like. Got a features list over to him. So we are officially underway, guys. Uh, I don't know exactly how long. I'm thinking about three months to launch. Could be shorter, could be longer. I don't have an official time frame. We should know that in a couple weeks. But I will tell you that the app is going to be both iPhone, Android, and all platform friendly. It's going to have both Genesis and Unleashed uh, available 
we are working on member content. So um, it's gonna be a free download with uh, probably a free program in it to get you guys started. Access to all our weekly content that we put up on the site, uh, access to the apparel, anything you guys wanna purchase. We're gonna do all sorts of cool community stuff for you guys, different challenges. And then we're gonna, of course, we're gonna have paid content, and uh, the paid content is gonna be off the hook, guys. We're gonna have all sorts of crazy stuff. We're gonna have David Larson doing uh, recipes, weekly stuff. Sean Leonard from back east uh, in Quincy, Illinois, is gonna be doing some stuff with us. Of course, your usual John Foster, Howard Perry, Safira, Priscilla, they're all gonna be doing weekly content. So it's gonna be an amazing app, guys. We're gonna open this up like never before, and we're gonna try to break the mold. One of the things I was really adamant about when we were talking this morning, uh, and it was kind of cool, Jeremy actually said it, he said, you know, people just, they, they do the, uh, the old saying, F copying is the biggest form of flattery, and he just said, you know, that's bullshit. I said, I completely agree. I don't want to copy anything. I want to break the mold and start from scratch. I want to find a problem and solve it. I want this app to be revolutionary. I want it to be like nothing anybody has ever seen before, because, what did I forget? <clears throat> oh my goodness. You know what? Um, I actually ended up having tandoor bread. I forgot I put this in the microwave. Would you take that downstairs? And... No, mom said so. Hey, <laughs> come here. <laughs> My rice. Come here, kiddo. Will you please put that in the fridge and tell mom I already had carbs? Oh, we're gonna have to edit this video because you're gonna get a spanking. Come here now. <clears throat> Who's good? I ask. Thank you. And my phone's ringing. Who's that? Can't reach my phone. Uh. <clears throat> JB, what's up, bud? JB. <clears throat> JB, what's up, buddy? <clears throat> Hit how much? Uh, 20 bottles of uh, 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 T ball, the 20 bottles of Exposed is correct. Uh, yeah, the Cyphos over to uh, Tyler at HQ. Okay, good. Now, and then I'm gonna send them, uh, oh no, no, sorry, bud. It's uh, it's it's only ten. It's ten bottles of each is all he wanted. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a small order. Trial run. Do you should we give him should we give him like maybe twelve just to kind of give him a little boost, you know, so he gets yeah, yeah, give him two free ones for yeah, of course, bud. Why not? I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, awesome. Cool. Awesome. I think he'll I think he'll dig it. I know they'll move and he'll be happy with them. Oh yeah, definitely. You're gonna go great. And then um I'll send in what uh ten cards in ten uh ten cards as well. Oh yeah, the uh, inserts, that'd be great. Almost forgot about those. No, that doesn't get changed. Those go in every package, so we gotta buy some more of those. Okay. I'll get that uh we just talked to X about that. Okay. But I think that would be a good thing to sell, you know, put in the package. Well, we have them in the package, I mean, put them on the storefront, you know? Yeah, absolutely. It'll look killer. If you want, we can get Xavier to do some signages for them, too. If you want to design some signages, we can get some printed, like a little stand. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be killer. Do you, let's have him do that for sure, because uh, Tyler was saying that, you know, he's giving us good shelf space, and if we have stuff, let's send it. So let's let's have him design something and send it out there. Cool, man. Okay. Amazing. You're the man. You got it, man. And then also we have, expo uh, we have bonus order. We should have in the next couple of weeks. And then we just got five weeks it takes. Okay. And then from there, we'll see how the customers like it. I want you to try like about 20 bottles of it. Just see how you, you know, what yep. you think. Sure. And then um, let's get it by the reps. And then we'll, we'll do a big order. Okay. You're the man, JB. Thank you very much, bud. You got it, bro. Thank you, man. Okay. Later, buddy. Yeah. Later, later, bud. So we have to cut that right there. We had to actually talk a little numbers, and I don't like talking numbers on video. But uh, all that being said, uh, that was that was JB. He's one of my uh, one of my many business partners in this venture, and he handles a lot of the supplement stuff. So it's kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> Sean Leonard, Body Spartan brand ambassador. 
from uh, back east in Quincy, Illinois. Um, he's also an ambassador for Nutrition HQ, uh, which is in Quincy. Uh, we're working on getting some products in their store. We're doing a small run for them. It's uh, you know we we worked with them uh, just to give them see see how they did on the shelves. We're really curious to see how they do in Quincy, and so we gave them a, a small minimum order, and we're going to send them a couple free ones for fun, just so that they have a couple extras. Give them some cool signage for the store. That way they um, you know people walk in, they see our stuff, and. You know, hopefully it'll uh, it'll do good. We're excited about it. We know it's a good product. And also, you heard guys, uh, top secret stuff. Kronos is ready. Uh, we're gonna have our brand ambassadors test that. That is our super test booster. So look the f out, guys. Um, it's you know with any supplement, you're gonna eventually plateau. Your body's gonna get accustomed to it, no matter what. It's just gonna happen. That's the human body. It's an amazing machine. So the way we've designed this is that when Tevolve, when you start feeling a plateau with Tevolve. Uh, and you're taking the maximum dose, then it's time to step it up to the Kronos, which has got way more stuff in it, guys. It's uh, got a lot more, <laughs> uh, it's a lot more powerful. I've actually test run it, and it's really cool. Uh, so we're gonna have our brand ambassadors test run it, and once they're done, uh, they give us the results. If everything's good, we're gonna put them on the shelves. So that is Kronos, uh, and that's going live very soon. But back to the mobile app, I was just saying uh, how cool it is because we just, we don't want to do cookie cutter. We want the user interface to be smooth. Everybody complains like, hey, this this app's got great functionality, but you know, it sucks. It's hard to get here. It's hard to get there. And it's a you know, pain in the ass to use. Like we want our app to be smooth and easy and just simple to use. Everything at the touch of your fingers, like literally, of course, it's an app, but I want it to work really well. I want people to go, damn, this is the best fitness app I've ever seen and I have to have it and it's gonna be a free effing download. So, my gift from me to you, peeps. Uh, anyway, I got videos to do, uh, and I gotta hit the gym. Today is back, no, I'm sorry, we did back yesterday. Today is traps, calves. Oh, and forums, I was saying, I forgot in the video earlier, I said when I had no sound on, that I got this carpal tunnel going on in my wrists. Uh, actually, it's both of them, because I think I sleep like this with my hands buried underneath me, and so I think I've caused some carpal tunnel in here. My arms have been falling asleep at night, and uh, it's actually really, freaking painful just to do that so I don't know how forearms are gonna do today you know it always seems like uh, I got some sort of injury but this ain't ballet I'm getting old and uh, you know we're throwing heavy weight around and it's just part of the game man there's always gonna be injuries things are gonna hurt you just gotta work through it and so basically from me to you if that this is you suck it up you know don't whine about it don't tell anybody if crap hurts you know this is one of the things that you know what this is a good side story for you guys back when I was younger um, you know I would, uh, I guess I kind of complain a lot when I get hurt over every little thing. I remember one time I was surfing and I uh, I stepped on this barnacle and I sliced my heel open. It was like a two inch cut and I was down at Trestles. So I don't know if any of you guys know where Trestles is. It's in South Orange County. It's one of the best surf spots in California. And I was at Uppers <clears throat> and it's just like 15, 20 minute walk from the parking lot down the trail to the beach. And so I basically just bled the whole way up to the car. I was like flinging blood off my sandals and I, my flip flops. And every step was like, and I came home and like I made a big deal. I'm like, ah, I should go to the doctor. And you know, Priscilla was just looking at me like, suck it up, dude. I'm like, what? And I remember her saying one time, she's like, you complain a lot about everything. And I'm all, oh. And I, when I started wrestling and practicing, I was complaining a lot. She's like, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. And one day I just, like, this is pretty personal stuff. I don't tell anybody. I just, like, decided, oh, yeah, I'm kind of being a puss about this stuff. And I just manned up. I'm like, next time I hurt, ain't nobody going to know about it. And so nobody knows when I hurt. I don't say anything except, you know, for the sake of information when I tell you guys, I got this injury I'm dealing with. But if you, if you saw me, you wouldn't know. I would never say anything. And that's how I dealt with wrestling. You know, that's, that's not ballet, man. It's, it's uh, the, the ring of steel posts. It's steel I-beams, they're like one and a half inch I-beams that go across, and then you got two by six boards that go the other way, about this much padding. And you know there's a little flex in the ring, uh, they try to keep it to a minimum, but dude, it's like, you know, you take, well, how many times have we bump, dude? I probably take, we call it a bump, we hit our back. I probably take 12 to 20 bumps a night, dude. Uh, and even more when we were practicing. So it's just like, every one of those being in like a, I think it's like a 30 mile an hour car crash is what they liken it to. Sometimes worse, depending on how big the bump is. You know, if you're jumping off the ropes or if it's, you know, you're hitting the floor instead of the ring and where there's no pads. It's totally different, man. And so we just live with back pain and knee pain and like things are torn all the time. That's wrestling. But you won't hear one of those guys complain about it. You know, you might see him wince, but like, oh, I'm fine, whatever. Because, you know, you just don't show it. And honestly, man, I think <clears throat> one of the things I took away from wrestling is it really, you know, beat the pulp out of me and it made me a man. 
And that's something I can pass on to you guys. You know, one of the things I think is missing in this day and age is men being men. Like, man up, dude, suck it up. Yeah, we hurt. We got shit to do, things to do, families to protect, nations to lead, causes to lead, revolutions to lead, um, you know, things like that. And when I say revolutions, I don't mean like a civil war. I'm just saying like, you know, a movement, whatever you believe in. And people aren't going to follow pussies. They're just not. They're going to follow people that are confident. They're going to follow people that, um, you know, they believe in, that will lead them and will confidently get them across the finish line. Not some whiner who has a hangnail and has to tell the world about it. Not some whiner who bitches on Facebook about their personal shit and how they're tired of this or that and this and that. It's like, be a fucking leader, man. Stand up. Don't show anybody you hurt. You know, cry in, cry in silence. <laughs> so I think is what Brandon Griffin told me that the Marines tell him. He's like, oh, no, suffer in silence. That's, that's the term. It's like, yeah, dude, don't, don't let anybody know you're hurt. You know, suck it up, man. Be a man. Put that shit behind you. And it just, like, the world needs to toughen up and grow some thick skin, in my personal opinion. Uh, I see it all the time. And I think that's one of the defining qualities in a leader is somebody that you just don't see hurt. And if, you, you know, if they're hurt, you know they're hurt and there's something wrong. So, if I can give you guys advice today, my piece of advice would be suck it up, you know, be a man. Don't tell no one you hurt. Make confident decisions in your life. When you make a decision, be confident in it. Don't be wishy-washy. Be a leader. Stand up for what you believe is right. Don't be afraid to speak out. Those are leadership qualities. Do something different. Don't follow the crowd. Um, I mean, these are, these are all things that you need to know. Be confident in yourself. Be confident in your decisions. Be confident in everything you do. Know that what you're doing is the right thing and stick to your guns, man. And be able to read people too. You know, part of part of being a leader is being able to read a crowd, read people, understand their needs, and not just be a dick all the time, be a hard ass, but literally like understand people's needs and put them before you. That's what a leader does. That's the true qualities of a leader. So today, go be a leader. <laughs>